Welcome back, Stingers, and welcome to your transformation series where I'm going to give you seven videos in seven days using examples from my new books, Rise from the Ashes, A Scorpio's Guide to Self-Esteem and Rebirth, and Dating Scorpio, with hopes to inspire you to become the most fabulous version of yourself you were meant to be. Are you ready? The scorpion sting hurts so bad because of the manner in which we do it. Despite what you may have read about us, it's never planned and just comes naturally and always in perfect timing. Without even thinking about it, I brought him back into my life just to end the relationship on my terms. How naive he was thinking I forgot about his previous behavior. The scorpion sting is something that a lot of people talk about and they think we are uh, like air signs, like we're home literally thinking about how we're going to sting you and that is completely untrue. Um, in fact, it is definitely something that's subconscious and it has a lot to do with control. Um, notice how I said I wanted to end things on my terms and so a lot of the time people get confused with how we sting you know scorpions uh, sting in different ways it depends on which type of scorpion you cross <laughs> I'm a Sun and Mooner so mine's really hurt um, and that is because my subconscious is all also Scorpio my conscious and my subconscious um, are in alignment they conjunct each other and so when I come through I come through full throttle come hard and go home and so this isn't something that I've implemented recently I haven't attracted relationships that require me to bring someone back and sting them I have to literally consciously tell myself do not do this <laughs> but many years ago we did not have that conscious conversation honey if you cross me it was coming to you for sure without a doubt but, uh, you know, the sting is definitely not something that we plan. It's not, we're not in our heads. We're not air signs. And so we don't contrive things in that way. We don't think in that way. Everything we do is on an emotional level. And so when people do things to us, we kind of store it, compartmentalize it. And it's kind of like, okay, like it's still there. And so I think whenever the opportunity arises, boom, lights out. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where you can purchase both paperback and audio versions of my book, Rise from the Ashes, A Scorpio's Guide to Self-Esteem and Rebirth, and Dating Scorpio. You can also book a chart reading, a personal live stream session, and one of my nine amazing crash courses along with shopping in my beautiful store where you can get custom jewelry and accessories. Also, I have a big announcement to make. <laughs> my books are now sold in one of my favorite bookstores here in New York City called Namaste. They are at 2 West 14th Street. And this place is so important to me because it is the first shop ever where I got a birth chart reading and information all about my mirror person who is the catalyst for everything that I'm doing now in this very bookshop I met a woman who sat down and explained to me the karmic match that we had and why I was feeling the way that I did and it actually propelled me to get in that mirror and write my book and start this YouTube channel and pretty much do everything that I'm doing in my business right now so I've come full circle now and my books are available there so if you're in New York definitely come down to the shop it is absolutely amazing you can get tarot readings i've had psychic readings there i've bought all my crystals there they have tarot cards they have every single thing you would need for divination amazing astrology books so definitely stop by and buy my book all right guys i'll see you soon